working in the guest hall today, both of us. And as you can see, Matt has the door, the entry into the head taped off because he is cutting out the area for the medicine cabinet. And again, I cannot wait until the day that all those stupid pieces are gone. But because you always like need to add little bits of trim here or there, they're kind of essential. So, but again, for me, that's gonna be like the big point in this build is once that is gone. But as you can see behind me here, I have gone through and at least gotten like the first uh, two coats of fairing compound on all of these walls here. So my job today is going to be, um, I have sanded them with the orbital and I started to block them, but a few of the areas you can tell like they're super light or there's obvious low spots. So before putting on that uh, blue dicum to look for the other low spots, I'm gonna go through kind of like one more time majorly and coat these areas. Hopefully because it's warmer today and it's early, I'll get that done. When we go to lunch, I'll, I'll cure, come back, sand it. And then this evening or late afternoon, I can um, put that day come on because we are so close, I think, to getting to prime in this area. Pretty sure Matt wants to do all of the areas in one go. So as you can tell, the aft cabin here hasn't gotten anything on it yet. The surfaces have been prepped, but again, because we can close this area off and heat it uh, when we have the nicer weather, we're kind of like working in the open spaces, but... Things are like really coming along and quite quickly now too. let the areas cure while we're at to lunch come back now and I have the heater sitting well right next to one of the areas of course that has cured and hopefully under the steps because I know that was another big area that just I never officially got the corners before so I'm gonna start sanding all of that down and then hopefully go through and like fix all the last little things take straight edges to it see where the big problems are and then move on to the next area sticky Oh, this is, ugh. Yeah, this is still sticky down here, but that was a thicker coat. Yeah, go work on that. Yeah, I could probably go work in the head. Yeah. Be careful with my thing over here, huh? Okay. Cabinets don't have to be that perfect. <laughs> That's the lesson we've learned over the past 12 months. Well, no, we knew that. <laughs> it was a practice. I know. Just putting in a quick layer of that total boat bilge paint along this area before I officially cover it and we no longer see it. You can see I have just glassed in <clears throat> the main tube. So this, this tube right here is gonna be for the shore discharge. And then this is going to be the vent line for the holding tank. But just gonna go through quick quick uh, coat of paint there just to make it a little bit easier to clean up in case we ever do get uh, overflow situation um, that way it's it's hopefully will clean up and it won't soak into this area and then the top will go on this and get glassed in place which has a little cut out in it um, I've already done that and then I can start putting in the shelves and get that all set up so finally we can get this section close to being done but of course that's going to require fairing and painting and all those other steps that will go into this. And then doing our deck pump out up here and doing a vent line up here as well. Decoring this section and going through there. 
besides working on the holding tank area on our guest side, that, that cabinet there and putting in the shelves right now, the other thing I'm doing, besides falling, is putting in our medicine cabinet. This is in the area of the galley counter. You can kind of see it just sitting there. It is going to be glassed in like this, like so. And so I'll show you from the other side. From this side, you can see it just hides in there. Real simple, easy design. Um, nothing real fancy there. And for this area, again, we're just going to have overlay doors. So they're just going to be a, a door that actually goes over this, which will have the mirror in it. And part of that, the reasoning for that is, it, it, as it explained earlier, where the sink, the countertop is right here um, on the other side of this. And then the sinks will drop down to here. I can't go any higher with this section. But with an overlay door, I can. So I'm going to make that uh, kind of give an illusion that it's a little bit taller of a cabinet in here. So the doors will go probably to this height. And then on the outside of that will be a little bit of wood trim. And then the vanity lights will be there as well. So right now what I'm doing is just going to be bonding this into place, um, putting the coats to hold it. And that will come back and glass it once it's set. And then back over here on this side. Now that I have a uh, first coat of that bilge paint, that total boat bilge, bilge paint in here, um, I'll be able to go through and do another coat through the opening that I have. But that, the base is gonna be glassed into place um, now as well. And then I'm gonna do two more shelves in here. Um, we're debating as to how many shelves actually to have in this area and that's always that problem is you know do you want more shelves and have to stack things and it's a little bit more difficult to get things in and out but you don't have to stack uh, clothes as high just kind of a debate there we did decide to go with just two more shelves in this and that's going to allow anyone that's coming here they can put in like a duffel bag or something like that in this area as well so those are the two things that I am working on right now. Just go inside, make sure everything is level, um, and then go through and COVID on the outside and on the inside. I'm actually not going to glass it on the inner part to that face there because it's going to destroy all the fairing that I've done. <laughs> and quite frankly, it's just it's not structural. It really doesn't matter if it gets a little micro crack in it or anything like that. But I will put a nice little bead with that uh, structural putty and uh, then we should be able to prime it and paint it and it'll look beautiful, hopefully soon. trying to cove in here and since they are uh, not getting glass over the top of them they are going to be exposed so they have to be actually kind of pretty too but it's on this face so whatever if anyone's looking at it I really don't care <laughs>
After placing the top over the holding tank and deciding that we'd be adding two additional shelves, Matt brought out our laser level to determine the distance between the shelves with our remaining space and marking out where they would be glassed in. Once Matt had measured and cut the hole our dish drying rack would be placed in, he routed out the foam which sat between the outer casings of fiberglass. Once there had been a decent sized trough dug out, he went back to fill that area with our polyester fairing compound. This will give strength to those edges, especially once we eventually go back to add the hardwood frame, which will sit around it. Back to working on the dish drying rack that's going to be behind our galley sink. I have since drilled where our drainage tube is going to end up going. That is going to go behind this wall and through the other wall on the other side or actually down within this, this carcass within the space here, that void. So it should let us have a permanent drain in there. My big thing was, is when the sink gets glassed into place, there's gonna be no access to that drain ever again, really, to be able to, if there's a leak or any issues with it, I didn't wanna put a normal hose in there um, with just a hose barb on it, because in case there is some problem. So I wanted to make sure I use PVC for this, um, glue it well together and make sure that's a rigid structure. So again, that is gonna come behind this uh, cosmetic panel here and drip down to this area below here is where I need to drill the hole that's between those two walls. You can see the line. This is where the uh, power will go to the LED switch or LED lights that will run in a track right here. But the idea is it's going to be a rigid pipe through that down to about this position here, which then I'll switch over to an actual hose and run it around and down into our drainage setup. It's just enough space for a half inch. The PVC pipe outside diameter, of course, is like 0.85 or something like that of an inch. Um, that is as much space as I actually have in there. So it's gonna be a little bit of a tight fit. I gotta make sure I get it all lined up perfectly before it actually gets adhered in place. And that is the project today is to cut that lower piece, put the pipe in there, make sure the elbow fits well, which is here, and uh, glue that all up and then bomb the whole thing into place. And that'll trust that. So of course, I should have drilled this before I put this in place. My drill doesn't fit at a straight angle and my hole saw and even a fastener bit has got too long of a throat on it or a stem on it. Neither of them fit my impact and my 90 degree piece, which also does not fit this type of setup. Urk. I'm gonna go see if I can borrow the drill from the guys with a little bit smaller of a body on it and hopefully be able to do this.
one shot of this. Probably gonna mess it up. Such a little stub. I think we're down a touch in this front section in this corner. The other corner is looking good, but do you want me to push down? Down? Yes, down. Okay, yeah, push down. Here, this forward corner yeah. is like pretty much in place if you can't go forward anymore? Nope. Okay. I think that's about what you can see. Okay. Okay, so I will get some stuff up in there. And then what's the problem? So, no comment from the peanut gallery about the alignment on this. We knew it was going to be off. Uh, yeah, I knew it was quite a bit off. I have no clue what happened. But somewhere in the process of building the disc drying part, it shrank. It is going to work. So the counter is going to be white. There will be a 5 eighths inch piece of solid wood with... Um, grooves cut in it for plates to sit upright and all that kind of stuff will rest in this recess that you see here so you won't see this structure at all it's going to be all below hardwood and then there'll be a fiddle around the edge of this so this being square is important the outside area the underside a little less important i mean it would have been nice but it ain't <laughs> Still, I, apparently I miss a, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a good centimeter off. Measured once and cut right away and, uh, But, but the drain what, went in and that's the important thing. The drain thing. went in, yeah, exactly. That is the important thing is that looks like that did very, very well for us. So we shouldn't have leaking or issues there. This is just fiberglass work. It's just more fiberglass. It's okay, we're coming pros at it. We're we're kind of used to doing it. I was gonna say we're becoming pros, but no, we're not. We're, we're not. <laughs> this uh, this, dude, this is a great example of why we're not. The no. worst part is if I were to charge a normal rate. This would be probably a thousand dollar dish drying rack at this point for how many hours that I have into this stupid thing. First, I made it too large. Then it was in too close to where the door, too close to where that, that sliding door was gonna be. This is lots and lots of time invested in this little thing. Yeah, normally I'd say this is how we learn, but I learned nothing. <laughs> 